Cody Rhodes wants a rubber match against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Cody issued the challenge on this past Monday Night Raw. He said that Brock Lesnar was going to show up next week and hopes that he could end the chapter that Lesnar started for no reason. Cody said that he wants this match because the person who emerges from this match, the winner, will be in line. Rhodes promised that he will be the one that is next in line. Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar have been feuding since the night following WrestleMania when Brock Lesnar turned on Cody Rhodes in a tag team match where they were to team up against Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. They first met at Backlash where Cody Rhodes was able to defeat Brock Lesnar. In their second match at Night of Champions in May, Lesnar was able to win after Cody passed out following a Kimura lock on his broken arm. Ilya Dragunov is headed to the Great American Bash. Dragunov defeated Braun Breaker on Tuesday's show to become the new number one contender to Carmelo Hayes' NXT Championship. Additionally, the North American title will be on the line next week on NXT. Dominic Mysterio walked up to Wesley and said he would accept his open challenge. Wesley said there was no open challenge but would set the match for the night. Mysterio retreated saying he'd let Lee have one more week to prepare. Seth Rollins says the new WWE World Heavyweight Championship was created out of necessity. Seth Rollins told Ryan Sadden recently that he understands his title is not seen on the same level as the one held by Roman Reigns. However, Rollins says the new championship provides a necessary function in WWE, as the infrequency with which Roman defends his leads, many wrestlers to be caught in a holding pattern. Saying, I'm under no illusion that this title is the same as Roman's title. That title has been around. There's been so much equity put in over the past few years. It means a lot. Rollins then continued to say that without an active champion, some characters on the show don't have anything to strive for. Saying, what he wants to do with his schedule and his title reign is not what I'm doing. Somebody's got to fill that void. We did our best with the United States Championship for a little while to do that, but it never really felt like a World Heavyweight Championship. There's got to be that person. There's got to be that spot for everybody to get to, to try to fight for. Rollins was then asked for his response to those who called the WWE World Heavyweight Championship a consolation prize. To which he said, I just believe it was a necessity, so I wasn't offended. I wasn't annoyed or anything like that. If you watched and followed and saw how Roman has built up the title that he has, it only makes sense. I guess for you to use the word consolation prize, but for me, again, it didn't feel that way. It felt like a big deal. Like I said, it felt like a big deal because there are so many guys who are able to be in the shoes that I'm in right now, and the fact that it's me makes it feel like a big deal to me. And I feel a lot of responsibility to represent them and the industry as well as I can. He also added, it feels sometimes with Roman's title reign because there really is only one challenger at a time and often every few months that we're in a bit of a holding pattern. A lot of guys are in a holding pattern. The reason Drew McIntyre is missing next week's episode of WWE Raw looks to have been revealed. According to an Instagram post from director JJ Perry, Drew McIntyre has been cast in the action film The Killer's Game. The movie stars WWE legend Dave Bautista, Ice Cube, Ben Kingsley, and Sophia Boutella. PW Insider reports that McIntyre is missing Raw next Monday to film the movie. In an interview with The Metro, The Undertaker says he thinks WWE needs to get back to the original Bray Wyatt cult leader character. Undertaker said recent iterations of Wyatt's character have made it difficult for Wyatt to have matches. Saying they've kind of gotten themselves booked into a situation where it's kind of difficult for him to have matches. I think the original Wyatt family, Bray, that's the money. Bray Wyatt has been away from the company for several months due to an illness. He was supposed to face Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania 39 this April before the match had to be scrapped. Bray Wyatt was playing the character The Fiend when he was released by WWE in July 2021. He returned with a new character last October, but has only had one televised match since then, defeating Ellie Knight in a Mountain Dew pitch black match at the Royal Rumble this January. Additionally, during an appearance on Out of Character in January, Bray Wyatt said he can't be the Hawaiian shirt version of his Wyatt family character anymore without Brody Lee there. 
Wyatt said he thinks it would be disrespectful to his late best friend. Brian Pillman Jr.'s AEW contract expired and was not renewed by the company, making him a free agent. PW Insider reported the news Tuesday following questions arising his removal from the roster page of the AEW website. Throughout his time in AEW, which began in 2019, Brian Pillman Jr. has remained active in the Indies. However, this year, he's only had nine matches with the company. The last two of them were on house shows, while the two before that were on AEW Dark. Only one of the nine was televised, a February 2023 Rampage loss to Swerve Strickland in Dayton, Ohio. He had made his AEW debut back at 2019's Double or Nothing in a Casino Battle Royale. He was eventually paired off with Griff Garrison and later named the Varsity Blondes in the latter portion of 2020. The two did have several winning streaks, one of which brought them to an AEW Tag Team title shot against then-champions The Young Bucks. The two eventually lost the varsity part of their name in a match to Tony Nese and Josh Woods, and their team dissolved in late 2022 when Garrison got injured. Additionally, he teamed with Brock Anderson sparingly since December as his appearances on AEW programming became less and less. In other news, Jeff Hardy will be making his GCW debut this August. The promotion announced Tuesday that Hardy will appear at My Name Is in Detroit on Friday, August 4th. Following the event, he will perform a live concert at the same venue, separate admission required. It did not state whether he would be wrestling on the show. Now let's get to some ratings conversation. Friday night's episode of WWE SmackDown averaged 2.5 million viewers on Fox, up 2% from the previous week. That topped all of network television for the night, which is a rarity for SmackDown. It's the best audience total for the show since June 7th, and is SmackDown's second highest viewership of the year to date. The episode took place at Madison Square Garden and featured the trial of Roman Reigns. It was Reigns' first appearance since being pinned by Jey Uso at Money in the Bank. SmackDown also topped all network programming with a 0.76 rating in the 18 of 49 demo. That's up 10.1% from last week and more than triple the next highest competition on the night. It's the best rating for the show since Christmas night 2020 when SmackDown had an NFL lead-in. Excluding that, it's the best rating for SmackDown since February 28th, 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching the latest and I'll catch you on the next episode. If you missed our previous episode, you can go ahead and click on the screen now.